Okay, so now my mic is on and hopefully the sound didn't just jump super high. I have the uh, Tackstar mic that was recommended by a bunch of people. Which one is it? The SGC, I need my glasses, 588 or 598? I don't know. Let me see. But yeah, so anyway, um, it's a great mic, but honestly, I never paid attention to the settings, so whatever. I can get video settings just fine, because photography is kind of in my background, but in terms of audio equipment, I know how to turn it on and make sure it's working, but don't ask me to do too much else. So I have it set to plus 10 decibels. It was at zero for my last two videos, so we'll see how this works out. Um, honestly, I don't really know what my topic for today is. Let's pick one. Oh, let's talk about today's perfume. Uh, where are you? You're there. It's right in front of my face. I'm like as ditzy as can be. I'm running out of it. It's my YSL Libre, um, Yves Saint Laurent. But here's the deal. Look how much is left. I got this as a birthday present. And now that I'm gonna, you know, like rebuy it myself, I'm starting to feel some type of way. But, um, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I'm worth it. But <laughs> it's just like sentimental, I think is what it is. Because it was a gift, you know? So I don't want to like, I don't want to get rid of the bottle. I'm probably going to keep the empty bottle around. Because isn't it just the prettiest little thing? Like, I don't care so much about labels, but certain designer perfumes are just awesome. And this is one that's completely awesome. Like, so like, it's got a very, very lavender type of vibe to it. And if you know me, you know I love lavender. It is like, Happy, happy, happy town. Um, but the other note that comes out with it, like at first, like when you first spray it, I'm wearing it now, but oh well, there's no one around. I can't over smell it. Oh yeah, yeah, so that's what it is. When you first spray it, it's got like that nice, crisp, like citrusy smell. I won't say, it's like orange, but not, not regular orange, maybe like mandarin orange or something. I don't know. Oh God, it smells so good though. Yeah, so it's just like a big wake up and it makes me super happy. I just love that smell. But as it dries down, that's the part that is so very me. Cause like as it dries down, cause right now it's still wet on my skin. I get that really dark they know I'm trying to record a video so they're just like I'm gonna move all over the couch because she let me on the couch and now it's mine well this half of the couch I have a giant l-shaped couch <clears throat> that is like way too big for this room I'm about to start coughing like crazy <laughs> shall I let you in on a little secret not only did I just break into a coughing fit because I choked on something imaginary, my battery also died on me when I turned it back on. It was like, no nah, girl, you didn't see me flashing a minute ago. And then the cats went crazy. Then the dogs went crazy. And my son is upstairs laughing at Thanos in a beatbox battle on YouTube. So that's kind of what's going on right now. He's uh, doing what he does. So I'm going to try this again. I do remember spraying the perfume on myself. It still smells good. I do remember telling you that it starts off really citrusy with like some mandarin or orange or something mixed in there. So that's good. Maybe it's got some orange blossom. I don't remember. But now that it's dry, it's got that really delicious lavender smell with undercurrent 
of the citrusy goodness. So it's a floral. I don't know if you would count it as an oriental. I'm not sure. It's definitely not gourmand. I have this habit of either going for like a strong sweet floral or like, oh my God, eat me up. And that could either be a super sweet, like, uh, like Lancome's La Vie Belle Eclat. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Some people like, a, actually a lot of people. So many people like La Vie Belle. Or is it at, I don't know, I don't speak French. But so many people like La Vie Belle. But I like the Leclat um, spinoff better. I still have to record that video of spinoffs. What's wrong with me? It's like, the thoughts are there and then they don't stay. So anyway, um, I actually don't own that perfume. That's like as a full size bottle. So nah, whatever, not a big deal. Um, what did I do with the perfume that I was talking about? Found it. Ah, so aside from the deliciously, magnificently happy stuff, it starts to dry down and then you really smell like the lavender. I might have jasmine in it somehow. Yeah, I don't know. It might have some jasmine in it somehow, but it also has like, I won't say vanilla. I don't know what it is, but like, and I don't smell it right now up here, but I do smell it right here. It kind of, from where I sprayed earlier, it kind of, I don't know if it's like, I wouldn't say it's vanilla. It's just something soft. Whatever that smell is, and I don't even want to say that it's musk, but it might be musk. It might just be the way that it's mixed with everything makes it smell lighter than other perfumes that have musk. But like so many perfumes have musk. Guess what? I'm not a perfumer. I'm not like super noey noey on the perfume stuff. So we're just gonna say I love the way this smells and what I smell is some strong citrus at the beginning with a hint of lavender. Then it dries down to lavender and some other kind of flower, maybe jasmine with and I won't say it's not powdery because the minute you say powdery, it comes off as like grandma, old lady perfumey. Like, but that's not it. It's just got something else with the lavender smell. Those are the two things that you really smell on me. And I've gotten so many compliments when I wear this perfume um, from all ages and men and women. So... I'm not gonna say that it's grandma, old lady-ish at all, or any, dude, he is cracking up. Um, but I will say it's definitely a strong secondary note. And I don't wanna say powder or vanilla. I, won't, I don't wanna say cream. It's just, it's something. Really, Munchlax? <laughs> just doing what cats do. Um, yeah, but whatever it is, it's pretty awesome, and I love it. It's like a really light, soft, feminine type of smell, the way it's together. Like, even though it comes out with a punch, somehow it still feels very light. It's like, mm. So maybe light isn't the right word. Maybe relaxing is the word because, I mean, it is lavender, so that could be part of it. But it's just definitely like, ah, I could just sit next to you all day and be wrapped in this smell, stranger girl who's super tall and smells like lavender goodness. I've imagined that that's what strangers are saying in their head. That's how I say things in my head. Yeah. So anyway, that's what I like. I love that perfume. I'm very sad that I'm running out of it. Like, look at that. That is like heartbreaking. That is absolutely heartbreaking. And did I already tell you I'm going to keep this empty bottle because it's got sentimental value because I got it for my birthday <gasps> and I'm a Libra. I know Libra and Libre are not the same thing at all, but I can pretend. I don't know what that cat is doing, but it must be very entertaining. 
Anyway, I feel like I wanted to make this a very short video. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop it now. And who knows, maybe I'll do some more what perfume am I wearing today videos. Because I really love perfume. And I feel like there are so many perfume reviews out there. But some of them are like too long for my attention span. So I would hope that maybe if there's someone out there like me, they would be happy to just quickly hear what the perfume's about and, ooh, a butterfly themselves to the next video. Um, things that matter to people. Is it kind of expensive? Yes, but it's not super expensive. What else? It lasts on me for about three or four hours, but my nose does not pick up faint smells that well because I had allergies until I was like a million years old and now they're gone. But, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, okay. It lasts for like three or four hours and it can project that. So is it silage or sillage? I'm just going to pretend everything's in French because that's when it starts sounding fancy. But um, <laughs> it goes out. It projects itself about here. So what's that? If you're quarantining or uh, what is it? If you're not, not quarantining, if you are social distancing properly, you might still be able to smell this perfume on someone else. Yeah, that sounds about right but only when they first spray it, like for the first hour or so. After a while, it kind of sits really close to your skin. Yeah, like I can smell it. That's how you clear your nose. You go. Yeah, I smell it here. And what's that, like three feet? This is three feet? What the heck? I don't know what the kid's talking about. Um, you know, it's a cartoon beatbox battle. That's the channel. Cartoon beatbox battles. Anyway, I'm overdoing this video now, so I'm going to stop. Bye. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're feeling my vibe. If you're not feeling my vibe, then don't subscribe. I mean, I'm not losing any sleep over it. I have a life and extremely high self-esteem, so... It would be nice if you subscribed, but I don't like need it, you know? I feel like none of you should need it, but that's a whole other topic. Uh, anyway, <laughs> God, I need help. Peace, love, and uh, you know, all that good stuff. Harmony, sushi, American bulldogs who won't leave you alone while you're trying to record. <laughs>